peek into the mind of G Pro's dreams, which are usually school oriented. <laughs> and you know what that means. I've been watching too much anime. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was the only one who had really nonsensical dreams. No, oh no. no. Everybody gets nonsensical <clears throat> dreams. Harry Bag would... talks about them all the time. Who? Rebag. Oh, yeah. The interesting thing is that my dreams usually are less nonsensical than most people's. They, of course, still have that stupid dream element to them, but a lot of times my dreams tend to be of rather normal situations that are just to an extreme degree, like what I just said. Being in school, recognizing, recognizing people, recognizing people, talking to people, but you know, with certain stupid things like I can't find my glasses, or uh, <clears throat> being late to school, or say showing up and then all of a sudden you're naked. Oh, that's classic. Uh, it's a fucking classic, and I hate Actually, I remember I went- I had a dream where I went to, to school naked for some reason, and everybody was laughing at me. And woke up and it wasn't a dream? No, it was a dream. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dream- I had a dream a few weeks ago where I was, like, wandering through my neighborhood naked in the middle of winter. Wouldn't that kill you? Classic Canadian dream. Canadian dream, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Like physically, if it was that cold, like in your naked, you would probably die. Not necessarily, <laughs> Not die. but probably. I wasn't cold in the dream, but yeah, it was. There was snow on the ground. I mean, but it was Canada, like, it was Canada like November. Can... I mean, Canada gets the minus thirty like regularly, depending on where you are. Yeah, more in northern Ontario. It gets here. It gets to that here sometimes. It gets there. It gets like that in Quebec, but Quebec is like in a weird position in between two mountain ranges, so yeah. it gets it gets more extreme weather. Yeah, we got a minus forty, like last month, I think. What Fahrenheit? Celsius. Well, both. Yeah, it's close. That would fucking kill minus you. 40, minus oh, 40 is the same, no matter which one, which, uh, temperature system you're talking about. I mean, you'd die if you're out there for too long, without, like, proper protection. But yeah. yeah. Pretty much. I didn't go on my walks when it was like that. You shouldn't, like, even, been dumb. even with protection. Yeah. That's not, it's not safe to go outside. I mean, even with the, even with your extra body fat, but like, um, let's let's not pretend that that's not a factor. We yeah. shouldn't we shouldn't ignore that. That is also a factor in keeping you warm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Even with all that, it's still not it's not a smart idea to go outside in that kind of weather. Yeah, exactly. At least not for your own benefit. If it's something you have to do, then it's something you have to do. Why would you ever but... have to go out in like 30 degrees... Minus 30 degrees Celsius. Drive to work. Uh, work. Walking from your car. Oh yeah. But I wouldn't shovel if it was like that. Like I would wait until it warms up. I mean, I wouldn't give a shit. Yeah, basically. But that's me. I don't think anyone should have to give a shit of minus 40 to shovel. Uh, no, I mean, I wouldn't give a shit, I would do it anyways. Oh. Because I'm retarded. Oh. I mean, there was this one time where I had just a, uh... I had, uh, a spring jacket, t-shirt, uh, sweatpants, Normal shoes, one pair of socks, gloves with holes in them, and I might have had a toque? Oh uh, yeah, I definitely had one. 
reminder, we call those beanies in America. Yeah, I know, yeah. Um... And the wind chill was minus 25. And I was waiting God. for this. God, spring jacket in winter, Dan's game. Normal shoes in winter, Dan's game. Sweatpants in winter, Dan's game. Dude, I love sweatpants, though. I like them, too, but in winter, this... It's like you're not even wearing pants with the wind. Yeah. I Shit just goes right warm, through. Warm, but they they don't. No. And uh, I was in that wind chill for 30 minutes because the bus <laughs> was 30 minutes late. Yeah, I've had I had that before when it was high minus 20s without wind chill. Like there was wind chill, but that's what the temperature was without it. Oh, well, the wind chill was that temperature. Unlike, even then, like, that kind of temperature is not normal here. Yeah. At all. So, like, the, the fact that it got that cold was, like, insane. And normally we would have called school off. Like, it's a very poor area. It's a very poor area. What, well, financially? Yeah, financially. Like... And... I know you weren't there... I know you weren't here when I was talking about what kind of kids and parents live in the place where I went to school. But, like, these parents will send their kids to school if they have a whooping cough. Fuck. And potentially... Uh, like anything that isn't visibly bad like even if they throw up they don't care their kids are going to school it's awful and just Im just imagine those those poor kids having to walk to school and that kind of weather they they're poor they don't have uh, they didn't have the money to actually give them the protection these like yeah like, yeah and 11 year olds walk into school like that totally not a bad idea like in canada it would be fine because even in poor areas these people the you guys are used to this kind of weather you know how to protect yourselves yeah these kids don't yeah, and so their stupid. fucking parents are stupid. That reminds me, uh, when in either 10th or 11th grade, I actually talked about this on stream today, but I'll talk about it here too. In 10th or 11th grade, uh, it was like minus 30 with wind chill over a span of like a couple days. And there were people who had like 30 40 minute walks to school and stuff and also waiting at bus stops and uh the school board didn't cancel the school or anything like that and so people made a change.org petition and it got a bunch of signatures they're gonna try and find it did it actually pass you didn't talk about whether it passed or not i'm not sure i want to try and find it i can't remember the details <clears throat> I mean, even if we did get a petition, like, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have done anything here. Like, okay, the kind of people, alright, these five-year-olds think it's perfectly okay to, like, um, punch and kick and trip adults. And they do this to my mom all the time. They throw things at her. And they, like, don't watch their mouths. They say things like, fuck and shit. <laughs> That's the kind of area that I live in. Yeah. Or, that's the kind of area I lived in. Why do I keep saying I live in, live in that area? I don't live there anymore.
my mom still works for the school systems even though she even though we live in a different city Oh, I think I found the petition. Oh, I got 903 signatures from people in the school board. I mean, did it ever pass or not? No, apparently it needed 2,500. Oh, I know, my bad. It's, uh, they had 1,597 supporters and they needed 900 more. Did you oh, find shit. it? Yeah, I, find, I found it. I might, uh... I think he asked if you signed it. Oh, if I signed it? Yeah, I did. Because I was one of the people who, every day, for four years, took the city bus to and from school and had to wait at the bus stop. So I was affected by that, standing in that bitter cold, when the bus was like 20 minutes late. You should have just walked there, no? <laughs> Oh, yeah, totally. It's like a 50 minute walk. Like an hour long walk from my house to my high school. That's less time than- that's less than my school. It would've took- it took me- I, I remember I was like- I walked from my- all the way from my school to home and it took me like two hours. Oh, damn. <laughs> I walked sometimes if I felt like it or if I like missed the bus, I would just walk for some exercise. But not in that weather, of course. Not really in the winter. I, uh, because I use, and because I walk kind of slow, or at least I used to when I was younger, uh, it would take me, it would take me an hour and 30 minutes to get to my school. I think it was 1.7 miles from my house. And if I missed the bus, I would have to obviously walk. And then I would get to school, and I would be really tired, and I would be in pain because even though I took pain uh, pain relievers, my foot would be in monumental amounts of pain. Don, we're not gonna make it. Let's speed up. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Oh. Oh. But... <sighs> If I, yeah, if I were to try to do that now, I probably wouldn't, I probably wouldn't hurt my foot as much as it would just hurt my body. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm both kind of like, I kind of wish that it were the case, if it were the same case back then, but at the same time, I'm kind of jealous that I had the stamina to be able to do that back then. Because nowadays I'm like... I'm so much... I'm not able to do as much as I used to do because, you know, I've been on my ass for four years. Though I've been doing better. Out of curiosity, is the beep test a thing in America or like Canada? Yeah, we did the beep test. Oh what my god. What do you god. mean beep test? Is that where, uh. Where you have to like you... run up and down fucking constantly? Yeah. God, that was so exhausting. <laughs> I was so fucking bad at it. I think the best I ever Literally... got was like 8.1 or something. Literally hyperventilating at the end of it, dude. What the fuck is the beep test? What are you guys talking about? It's like Explain this, it more thoroughly, Trump. It's like this thing where you have to go for, run from one side of like a basketball court or something, and like the okay. and you have a certain allocated amount of time to do it, and then as it progresses, the time you have to get from one side to the other decreases, so you have to do it faster, and then. Nope. When when you can't make it like a certain amount of times, you have you give up, and that's your final score. Nope, we've never had that. We had that. Everyone hated it. It was a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, it was. Did you have the twelve-minute run? What's that? 
Uh, it's basically just, uh, it's simple, but, uh, it's like, you have a big gymnasium, and 12 minutes passes, and, uh, you time yourself, and you count how many laps you do. Somehow, in ninth grade, I did almost 30 laps around the gym in 12 minutes. Oh my god. There's no way, There's no way I'd be able to do that now. Like, I used to have way more energy and stamina, stamina, <laughs> but yeah. That was more fun, like, you could walk, you could run when you wanted, whereas with beep test, it's like, whew, run, run, run. That's what, in the beep test, in the beep, in the beep test, I was always, like, one of the first people to go out, aside from, like, one year, where... I would be. Except for this one year where I was, like, in the middle, for some reason. I remember I did track and field in 8th grade, and it was glorious. I was sick. I was sick a couple, uh, at least for a decent amount of the time that I was, that I did it. And what the standard thing was, was you would do two laps around the track, which is half a mile. And then we would do a bunch of stretches, and then we would go do our, uh, go do our things. And one time the coaches were pissed off at everybody because nobody would take it seriously. <laughs> and, well, by my third lap, I was hyperventilating. And I told the coach, I can't, I can't do it anymore. And he said, oh, it's okay, just go get some water and rest. I'm... Pretty sure the coaches knew that I was not one of the ones that was slacking off. But uh yeah. I couldn't I can't jog for, I could never jog for an entire mile. Even collectively. I would I just couldn't do it. I mean, I probably might be able to do that. I wouldn't know because I've, I used to go running a lot around the Oval, which is like a couple of minutes from my house, but I haven't done that in a while. I mean, I've always had really low stamina. I am, actually. <laughs> my stamina has always been fucking ter terrible. For some reason. It's like... I am not a healthy human being. Neither am I. The interesting thing though is that I am able to I'm able to push myself past uh, past my I'm able to push myself more than a standard person can. Mostly because a lot of the times they just don't give a shit about <clears throat> about fatigue or anything, I'll do something until I collapse if I need to. <clears throat> or if I want to. Uh, which I know most people don't do. But, um... I mean, is that really healthy, though? No. But that's something that I've done. It's something I've done since I was younger. I'm not as bad about it now as I used to be, though. Now I'll stop myself if I really need to. But even when I go on walks, like, I generally... I generally don't take a rest until until my back hurts to the point where I can't hold myself up. I posted the petition thing in VC. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I'll look at it after this friend dies. Speaking of which, I might go on a walk today. Uh. <laughs> I just kind of feel like it. Hell yeah, dude.
Why not? I might as well. Yeah. By the way, G Pro, yeah. um, I weighed on Saturday, and apparently in the last four weeks I lost 10 pounds, so I was happy about that. Oh, okay. uh, hell yeah. I probably gained weight. Out of curiosity, do I look fat on stream? I don't know. You didn't look fat. I, looked, I, I mean, like... I don't look that fat, but I am overweight. Mm. But I'm not, like, huge. I'm not obese. You don't look fat at all. I really don't look that fat. Like, I'm big, but I am overweight, so... It's being addressed. I mean, I don't... Your face is I mean... a lot bigger than right. mine. Like, it... Your face makes you look... Uh, bigger than me, but you're probably not. Stomach-wise. You're probably just wider than me. Yeah, probably. Because, like... I'm not... I'm... My body's pretty compact. Like... I don't have super broad shoulders. And I'm not very tall. A lot of a lot of the weight is all in my gut, and it's going out. It's going forwards, not to the sides. <clears throat> that might just be a result of me being skinny for most of my life, though. The only time I was fat before this was when I was a baby. I've never really been skinny before. Yeah. That might... Um, that might be just a result of biology. A lot of people on my... in my family seem to... have, like... either be somewhat overweight or, like, used to. I know my cousin used to be like my side at this age, and now he's skinnier, so it's kind of inspiring, you know? Yeah. It's not impossible to... It's not impossible to lose weight, even if your genetics kind of like... Even if your body is genetically programmed to be a little overweight. Actually, I was overweight when I was, uh, 18, interestingly enough, and I wasn't even fat. I keep it overweight I and not fat. fat. Uh, I mean, what I mean is exactly what I mean. <coughs> I was overweight, but I wasn't fat. I had a tiny bit of fat. But I also had a tiny bit of muscle, and there, and, like, I think I have naturally, like, really strong shoulder muscles, and really compact shoulder muscles, which kind of contribute to my weight. So, um, I'm a little bit heavier than I should be. So you kind of just add on... I was on bed rest for a month and a half. And on painkillers, which I don't know if painkillers cause slight weight gain. Because I had surgery on my foot in the summer when I was 17. And even though I was still exercising... After having that surgery, I did not lose any weight. I was about 170 pounds, and I'm five foot six, which is considered overweight. Yeah, I'm like five foot ten or five foot eleven or something. In when I was 16, I was 140 pounds. Oh, yeah. I was not fat at all. And I was exercising. I mean, I was in JROTC. 
which, uh, if you don't know what that is, it's an army course in high school. You don't have to go to the army, but I took it because my dad was in the army and I wanted to be more confident in myself. Oh, and that's interesting. do exercises there. Like, every Tuesday? And Tuesday was, uh... Tuesday was push-up day. Wednesday was pull-up day. And I think Monday was push-up day. Wait, two push-up days? Pull-up. Ah. Uh. Wednesday's pull-up day. Not pull -up. Oh, you sucked at push-ups? I sucked at, like, everything except for, like, sit-ups. And even then, I wasn't like amazing. Setups feel like, good, like honestly. I was, I was good at setups. I could do like sixty or seventy setups, like no problem. Oh, have, did you ever do wall sit at no. anyone? What's that? I've Twitter. done wall sits before. I think we had to do them in phys ed a couple times, but n it was never a regular thing. Drop wall sit is where like, so like. Sit up straight in your chair and imagine doing that, but like against a wall. It's uh, actually pretty hard to like stay like that. Yeah, depends on your the strength of your thighs, though. If your thighs are really strong and you're not that heavy, it's not that hard to do. But I mean, you know. None of us are like super light. Yeah, it was always hard for me. It was kind of a fun challenge though. You'd have to be underweight for that challenge for that for wall sitting to not really be hard for you. And I've never been underweight. I kinda wanna try that right now. My headset cord's long, so I think I can Go against the wall I, in my do room. It, do it and record yourself. No, I'm not gonna record myself. Damn it. Uh, is it long enough? I think I think my uh, PB for pull-ups was around 12. And I think for chin-ups it was... Uh, wait... Uh, for regular pull-ups it was either 8. And chin-ups, I think, was 12 to 15. And... Alright, um, yeah, this is fucking difficult. <laughs> God. This is torture. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> it feels nice, though, you know? Yeah. Wait, so it's torture, but it feels nice? What? That's what exercise is. Yeah, it's 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 exercise. Like I can feel it. Like my body's thanking me for doing this right now. Mm, That's enough yeah. of that. <laughs> <laughs> Not tips done. When you do exercises, your brain releases uh, dopamine. Yeah, so that was dopamine for sure. Good. You feel good when you exercise, even when it hurts. Yeah, give me that dopamine. <laughs> My people call it doped. About to get doped, doped. son. Doped. doped. Wasn't that what they called getting high like in the 70s? Probably. Probably. <laughs> or maybe it was the 90s. I don't even fucking remember, man. But, uh... Yeah. Seven second gold. Even when even when you're overweight, doing exercise feels good. It's just that and the stamina like your body suffers. Even if you get that dopamine you also suffer from it. And I mean, that doesn't mean that you can't be kind of athletic, and you can be fat and be kind of athletic. Some some fat people can run, man. Yeah. I used to be able to run decently.
Hey, but Mark, of sorry. course, of course, we don't mean fat by being and by being like 200 pounds overweight. If you're 200 pounds yeah. overweight, I've never been like that. You, you can't, you can't easily run if you're 200 pounds overweight. You can't. Yeah. That's just physically impossible. I can still run. Like I can still run down my street. Yeah. I can jog and I can run. I know that I can run down my street because I got chased by a dog a few months ago. Did you, and you ran. Damn. Holy fuck. I, it, was, it was a dumb decision to run, but it was impulse because the dog started chasing me. Oh. It was that dumb, is not a yeah. dumb decision. Well, you can't really outrun a dog. I mean... The reason, like, as the dog started catching up to me, I turned around and I shouted at it really loudly and it, I scared it. It's the fucking, like, the dog owner didn't have him on a leash, even though I'm pretty sure that's the law here. Did it say, was there like a sign at the park or wherever you were saying that, like... Oh, I was walking down my street, I was walking to go get a haircut. Oh, okay. And the, the guy's dog just starts chasing me. If I was a little kid, I could have had, like, half my face bitten off, dude. I remember one time, I was in, like, somebody else's house, and for some reason... I saw this dog, it was like really aggressive dog, and I didn't run, I literally just stood there, and like, had this like, really like, I was like really like careful, like I didn't run, and I just like, stood there and then, like backed away really slowly, <laughs> and then eventually just like, walked away. <laughs> I was like, thank fuck, I don't know how that worked. I mean... A nice thing that you can do to dogs, to do for dogs, is first of all, if you don't show signs of fear, if you give, if you give yourself passive body language, you smile at them, you bend down a little bit, you put your hand out, they usually won't bite you unless they perceive you as a threat. They'll still bark at you. That's not going to change anything. They're going to bark at you regardless, because they're dogs. Dogs bark. They'll bark at you if you're unfam if you're and if you're not a familiar face. They'll bark at you even if you are a familiar face. But I mean, dogs usually aren't aggressive. If you if you really pay attention to how they're like moving around, if they're trying to chase you. You can tell the difference between whether they're actually trying to attack you if they're just playing. Or trying to... Or trying to check you up. If they're trying to check you up and you show any kind of signs of... Like... Discomfort or... Aggression. They'll probably try to bite you. Or if it's a really mean dog. But usually dogs are not that mean. Unless it's like a bulldog. If it, uh, even small dogs aren't that bad. It de it depends on the breed though, and it also depends on you know if they have rabies or not, or if they've been abused. Like my little dog Cheese, he barks a lot, but you take him outside, he's actually very social around humans. He's incredibly social around humans. He doesn't bark at humans. He'll just walk up to humans and then he'll probably... If he didn't know you and you were just sitting down, he would actually try to climb up on you and lick your face. He wouldn't give a shit. He never gives a shit. The only bad part is that his breath fucking stinks all the time. <laughs> all the time. Like, that is actually exactly what happened when I, before SGDQ, when I had, uh, when I had two of my roommates over, they were just sitting in my room, and then Cheese comes in my room, and then he starts climbing on them and starts trying to lick them. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, this has also happened when my parents take him 
uh, taken places because sometimes they take in places like uh, their camper and then he just goes around and he greets people he doesn't even give a shit like you take and you take any of our other dogs and they would get scared and bark at them cheese wouldn't get scared and bark he would just go up to the person He's actually a good dog that uh, to take on walks, which I actually want to do that at some point. Well, do it then. I can't do it now because, well, like, <sighs> if I take him on a walk, if I take him on a walk now, I'll get tired, and then he would be get he would get restless, and well, that wouldn't be good. Even though he's a little dog. Like, I'm gonna get tired because I'm walking. I can, I can definitely hold him down. He's only like 20 pounds. I can easily, I can easily keep him going and getting off of his leash. It wouldn't be hard. It's just that me walking around would get tired because of the there's so many hills around here. If we had just flat ground, I could probably walk pretty far. Yeah. But, like, that's not how it works here. We don't have flat ground. We have hills. Lots of hills. Like, road, like, roads, fucking road hills, like, all the main streets. You don't stay at one elevation, whether you're walking, biking, or driving. That's not how it works here. So, like, it's a good workout. Every single time that I go outside for a walk, I have to go down a hill. A, down a pretty a pretty long hill and then you know I walk around at a place I walk around a block that's not that bad it like goes up to half the height that goes up to my normal house it goes up to my house but uh, <clears throat> it's still like at least one and a half it's at least, like, 10 feet of elevation, maybe 20 feet of elevation difference versus 40 to 50. Oh yeah, I checked, it was actually 50. 50, 50 feet of elevation. Damn. Damn. I mean, from my house down to that one street is 50 feet. Whereas, uh, the other one's like 20. Which, uh, by the way, still hurts like hell, but... ...isn't bad. And then, after I get really tired... And I'm like, okay, that's enough walking. I have to go back up that. I have to go back up that hill to get to my house, which means I'm already tired and in pain. And then I have to go back up a hill. Yeah. Though honestly, the thing I like about walks compared to like a treadmill is that once you're out and far away from your house, you still have to go back and do that extra walking. Whereas with a treadmill, if you're completely out of motivation, you just like get off it and that's it. But with walking, you can really force yourself to be out there because you gotta get home. You can't just teleport home. You can ask yeah. your mom to pick you up. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> where, son? Where are you? Um. <laughs> if you d if you can't drive, like. You don't know how to, like, give directions to where you are. Sure, you can have... Sure, you can use, like, Google Maps, but... Even then, your mom has to be able to use Google Maps. And that's not a guarantee, because you know how adults are with technology. Yeah. 
Let's get out the old 2006 GPS. I mean, uh, that's only, that's only mostly just because, uh, adults from our generation haven't, haven't needed to deal with the kind of technology that we do. I'm pretty sure that in the future when we become adults, it won't be too hard to adjust because we already deal with some pretty complex technology. Yeah. But there's still gonna be things that we won't have any idea how the fuck to operate them, so... It just matters on how how up-to-date we are. Like, my dad can fucking operate things. He, he knows how to do all the shit, which surprises me. Yeah, my dad can too. But my mom can't. She doesn't even know how to turn the TV on and off without a remote. Which bothers me. Oh, come on. So say if I change the TV source, like, she's like, oh, you have to change it back. I don't know how to do it. Teacher, how to? It's dude. annoying because that TV doesn't have a fucking normal remote. You have to change the fucking source manually. And it doesn't have an enter button. So, like, you have to go to the source and then you have to put the thing there. And then you have to wait, like, 20 seconds for it to select the source. And if you just press one button wrong, it changes the channel and you have to do the whole fucking process all, all over again. <laughs> which is fucking minute. Quality. Quality. Yeah. Quality modern televisions. It's a modern TV. It's not some kind of fucking, like, thing from 20, uh, from 2007 like my HD TVs are in my room. These, this thing's from, like, fucking 2014. <laughs> this motherfucking thing is so fucking complicated to use without a fucking remote. It's pretty hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you're not supposed to make it harder. You're supposed to make it easier. Like, if you, people are gonna lose their fucking remotes, what are they gonna do if they're like 50 years old? They don't know how to fucking turn on the TV without a remote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, I could do it because I always lose my fucking remote, so sometimes I have to change my TV stuff with just the buttons, which is fine. Because in 2009, they made fucking buttons that make it fucking easy. They have a fucking editor <laughs> button on the side of the TV. <laughs> Yeah, this exactly. Yeah. This go away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Button on the monitor to turn the TV on? Nah. nah. My, my nah. HD TV actually has, like, buttons on the side of the TV, which, like, allow it to do, like, the main basic functions if you don't have a remote. Which is like, My LG TV has all that plus an enter button. Holy oh, shit. If I want to select something, I hit the menu, which is the bottom, which is the bottom button, and then I hit enter, which is the, uh, which is the third button from the bottom. And then it's like, oh, hell yeah, I can fucking select this shit. But then I go over to my Sony TV, and then it's like, I click a thing, and then I have to press the volume button. But if I press the channel button, it changes the channel. Instead of, like, moving the thing the way that it's supposed to, it fucking changes the channel. Like, what? And then not to mention, if I even tickle the fucking power button with my dick, it shuts off. <laughs> <laughs> like any kind of pressure and that TV will shut off my TV's like that too it, uh, Sony TVs are fucking horseshit yeah. and then there's uh, but uh, that's the 2009 TV when you get the TV downstairs wait who joined that was Cobalt I assume he joined by accident because he just left oh I mean he can talk a lot yeah yeah like, 
tell you one thing. I'm gonna stick with the LG TVs. Like, LG just does does exactly what I want it. LG life's good. I have a LG TV. Hell yeah. I have a Samsung. Does the job, those... Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I get interlacing and I just have to turn it off and on again. I don't know why that is. And I really hate playing Crash 1 with Holy interlacing. Because I can't see Crash zigzag. And I feel like the zigzag's not working because I can't see it. Dude, Makes Samsung's it unplayable. Have, like, they have mad delay. Really? I don't have much delay on mine. Though I am used to it, to be fair, if there is delay. I just glitched out the final boss fight, the second final boss fight, to skip an entire phase and I golded by 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. Heaven. <laughs> this is Even. fucking... Even. Uh, but see, the LG, like, has... Um... It has, like, a frame and a half of input delay, maybe? Might even just be a sing- a half. Just a half of frame. Which is about 10 milliseconds, which is fine. Or wait, was that CRTs that had half a, half a frame of input delay? I don't have input delay CRTs. But they, there's still delay on CRTs, it's just less. Oh. Much less. Because and everything, everything that uh, comes after LC, LCDs, uh, they have, they process the signal in some kind of way, and that's what causes input delay on HDTVs. Because they, they process the signal, and it depends on your HDTV whether or not you uh, get input delay. Monitors don't really process those. Uh, in the same way, so usually with monitors you would get about the same amount of delay as a CRT. If I remember correctly. So, if you really want the best kind of experience, you would want to get something... Get a monitor that can take the input of the old video games. Which I'm not sure if they make those. LGs though. I like LGs. I would? Wait, hello? What? Okay. What? I thought I was like disconnected or something. I'm here. Um, LG is like, I don't know. The newer ones have even less input delay than the one in my, in the one in my room because mine's from 2009, and it's pretty damn good. Uh, and when we went to GDQ. There was an LG TV in the hotel room, and it felt so nice. It felt nicer. And it was it was definitely newer. It was like from probably 2013 or something like that. It looked really nice, and it felt really nice. And it still supported 50 hertz, just with the... You know... Um... Just black and white. It's kind of sucked, but... I mean, my, te my TV... Oh, yeah. My TV supports 50 Hertz. And it's I from, like... you live in a place where 50 Hertz is common. And it's from, like, HD. Like, you live in a place where 50 Hertz is common. Yeah. So... Like, that's to be expected. I... I live in a place where 50 Hertz is not common, so... The HDTVs don't support 50 Hertz. 
I got the sub 50 in Klonoa. GG. Don't nice. ask Cal, I found a glitch in Guardius. <laughs> Whoops. So. I might submit this. Actually, you know what? I will submit this. So basically, you found a new strat for a boss. I think so. Did you get world record? <laughs> Lol, don't make me laugh. Finds new strat, doesn't even get world record, wow. Imagine me getting learn like anything. Anybody can get world record. Well, I mean, yeah. As much as... As much as people want to um, want to say that world record is some kind of ultimate, like, ultimate fucking goal and, like, unachievable by normal standards, anybody could fucking get a world record in a video game. They just need to, they just need to try harder. They need to try smarter. Like, trying harder. You know what trying harder does? Trying harder gets you just barely sub-150 in Spruno after a thousand attempts. Trying smarter gets you to sub-130 in less than a thousand attempts. And this is why... Mm -hmm. And this is why not Vanny is actually good at video games. He's Hell not... yeah. You know, he doesn't try harder, he tries smarter. Vanny's a legend. Hasn't streamed in a while. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people wonder... Like... How people get good at video games fast, and... It's not always just because they're naturally good or that they're, like, some god gamers. Sometimes it's just that they're smarter and they know how to get good at things. Because you don't get good at video games just by brute forcing your way through. Yeah. I've been at the speedrunning game long enough to know that... If you get good at a video game, you get good at a video game, and you didn't use your brain, you got it by chance. You didn't... You got lucky. If you don't use your brain, you just got lucky. If you do use your brain, you know, you learn things. You learn new things. You always learn new things. Keep improving. Then, you're gonna get good eventually. I mean, I'm gonna. Unless, by chance, you just can't get good at the game even if you use your knowledge. Which then, you're not good by chance. I mean, I'm gonna update my strats now that I've got a bit of time. Because I haven't been doing every single strat. And I'm gonna see if I can implement them into a run. That's all you have to do to get good. Update your strats. Update your strats, update your knowledge, and update your skill. But Hell yeah. Hell, I lost like a minute in a in a boss and I still gonna I respectable time, so I can definitely improve on this. My speedrunning mentality has gotten better over the years, for sure.